What is one thing that you've never told your ex? It was one time I went out for a girl's night or whatever. Mm -hmm. And when I came back home, well, when I was out with the girls, I may or may not have slept with my sneaky link. And he called me. Oh. And when I came home, my ex was like extremely horny. And he just wanted to devour my So when he went to devour my like, oh my god, you're so wet. I was like, yeah, babe, I'm really wet. And he didn't know he was eating another man's This shit is crazy, bro. You would think he would be mad if he found out? He might know. Wow, that is actually like, I feel like a guy would like freak out. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Payback's I'm really starting to believe that there's a lot of women online that have a lot of narcissistic tendencies. I know they try to say men are narcissists, but the more I start seeing these women online speak, boy, it's starting to look more like them. And I mean, one, it, I don't care if you dislike a person or not. There's just a level and a line that you're just not supposed to cross. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you let somebody do that. And then you're going to not, oh, I'm sweaty. Let me go wash up or something. Nothing. You know, this is where she's that type of chick that'd be like, it's your baby. Amazon, man, getting up out of here. You see all these black folks. He's, he's running. <laughs> that shit funny as hell. <laughs> you think it's funny, but it's really not. We have been portrayed as such a scary group of individuals that you have white folks once they're in the neighborhoods they're so afraid that they run why because somehow our stereotypes are actually acted out so when you see moments like this, this is not a moment to laugh it's actually pretty pitiful and shameful for us to look like criminals or we're just that bad of a people to where people fear us and run from us that that's just some strange stuff there get my hair did oh shit i'm gonna do my hair that's how you just me to do my hair Hey. That's good. About to get this head done, man. He texted me talking about talking about some hey look. I'm talking to people and they're like, you got me out here looking real stupid. You know how I feel all looking stupid. No, no, I I ain't doing that. I got screenshots and everything, and you talking to other bitches, sending sending pics and all that. Like, nah, no, no. So you think I'm not gonna get my lip back up? Mm, and you want to hold overnight. Right. Have fun with that, sweetie. Oh, no, no. Have fun with that. That's just too much. But um, we're going to do it in the morning. All right, then. You can spend the night, though. You said what? You can spend the night, though. You sure you'll do it and you'll come back? I'm sure. You're going to go out here, then. All right. Dude, that sounds like a setup. You crazy if you think dude ain't gonna come back after that conversation they had. You sure your dude ain't gonna come home? No, I'm sure he's not coming. He has too much gas to be wasting and coming all the way back here. Are you gonna start you doing? I don't think it's real. Um, but even if it was real, let's let's keep it all the way. Let's just keep it all the way funky, man. A woman, if she, like, what you could tell from the conversation that she know her dude was cheating or whatever. Dudes, understand this. If you cheat on your woman and she find out, she gonna pay you back. I don't, if she don't outright leave you, she gonna pay you back. And it's going to be with someone you either told her you didn't like, you friends, family, whatever. She gonna get somebody close to you to make sure that you find out eventually to make you feel like crap. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. She gonna pay you back. And when she do pay you back, you either gonna lose it or you just gotta keep a player and not care. And then, oh, that's gonna really throw her over the ledge, bro. I'm telling you. Just wanting to say, I wanna clear my name. That's fine. I know I won. Okay, yeah. What? You need to get out of my house. 420. Point twenty seven, Wait, four twenty twenty seven club, and it was a four hundred dollar house cleaning Lady, fee. Get out of my fucking house. Yeah. Lady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. No, you're gonna talk to me more. I'm not gonna talk about anything. You need to get out of my house. Are they? Are they right there? Are yeah. Right sure. There? Whatever. Get out of my oh house. Oh my god. It's okay. You can give them to me. Lady, I'm get not, out of my house. I'm not. Whoa. I'm not. 
God, dude. Get out of my fucking house. Hey, I'm not bullshitting. Leave my stuff up. Hey, get out. Get out. No. Hey, get the fuck off my shit. That's mine. That's ours, Boach. Look, he has ours. This is a great picture. Ours. What are you fucking no, talking about? That's ours. Get out of my that's fucking. Honey. Honey. Hey, Boach. It's a fake yes, picture. It it's a fake yes, picture. Is. You no, want it, you can have it. He got it and it's broken. It, it's you just broken. fucking broke it. Oh my god. You're gonna I cut yourself. You believe me, Boach. Believe me now. Believe me. You're gonna cut yourself. Please don't. Please believe me. Oh my god. You're gonna cut yourself. I'm gonna take this nice. I'm gonna take this. Okay, go, go. Okay, you can have it. Oh my god, you broke it. Oh my god! Go. Oh my god! You can have it. You can have it. Oh wait. It's yours. It's fake. No, it's not. It's Get fake. out of my house! You're gonna fucking it's touch yourself. Fake. It's fake. Okay. You I, know 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 it's fake. I know it's fake. I know it's fake. Hockey. You. You are such a thief right now, and you don't even know it. I'm just Hey, you need to get out of my fucking house! Like, I'm glad he filmed it, but at some point, you gotta call the cops, man. The, obviously, she's had an episode of some sort, because there's no way she gone, all right? I don't know what, what happened. She just obviously broke, and you see the guy, he just, baby, baby. So, she didn't probably drove him nuts as well, but... You know, once again, I can always pull up something talking about women are the least protected. And you see, at this moment, he could have manhandled her for real. He could have launched her out and made her hit the wall. He could have did a gang of things to that woman, but he did not one. He's just asking her to get out of his house, and he's trying to gently push her out because he that dude was massive. He could have easily got her out of there if he really wanted to apply real pressure to her. So to, even when people are being... Their space is being invaded, breaking their stuff. You know, he still had some type of reservation about how he was handling things. And people need to start really looking at that. And then also, you know, mental health is a real thing. And, you know, obviously she needs some help. Hi, guys. So this is something that stays on my mind. And I think the reason it stays on my mind is because of how strange this paradox is that surrounds it. So like men are so much more powerful than they think they are, but we've been so taught and conditioned that it's the other way around. And indeed women are very powerful when it comes to things like nurturing and caring, et cetera. However, when it comes to a woman's behavior and tendencies, it all boils down to men. It is all at the discretion of men. Hmm. I don't care what lies women tell you. It's true and women know it too. Let me explain. Women do things for men. Women do things for the attention of men. Women can't deal with rejection and being ignored nearly as much as a man can because women get attention every single second of every single day of their life. Getting attention is extremely normalized for women. However, if a man gets attention, it's somewhat of a rarity. But a woman can get attention just by walking down the street. So the effect of being ignored and not getting attention weighs a lot heavier on women than it does men. Look, every time you say silly shit like happy wife, happy life, you're giving away your power. And that's another video that I have that's yep. debunking that quote, because it's not true. Every time you chase after women and females and shower them with compliments, you're giving away your power. I'm not saying don't compliment, but women can tell when you're overdoing it in an effort to get in good with her. Your power is masculinity, and that's why it's addictive to women. It's what draws them to you. But once you give that masculine energy and power up, you have now become feminine. When a woman feels you are on her level, she will lose interest in you. 
this is why women will say they want a man that's on their level when they're describing like their perfect man. But once you really dive into what they're looking for, they want a man that's above them. Whether it be in status, money, knowledge, whatever the case may be, a woman wants to feel like she can be leveled up by a man. So guys, remember how powerful you are. You drive society. You drive the societal norms. You drive the societal standards when it comes to women. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye. She definitely is right. You know, there's a lot of societal norms that happen now because of men. You know, this whole thing with the online world where men are paying women to see them do certain things. The only reason it exists is because men continually pay for it. If men stop paying for that stuff, what would women be capable of doing? They would have to go get jobs. They would have to actually have a skill set instead of just showing their bodies online. But because the men allow it and they accept it and they continue to do it, it causes this rift now where these women turning 18 straight out the gate are now going to that because it's a societal norm right now. So they're going to that at 18 before they even try to work a job, try to see if anything else is worth it. Instead, they go straight to that and then they regret it years later. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments section and be on the lookout for more videos. All right, everybody. Peace.